All right, at this point in time, I'm going to assume that you've got Rust installed. Now, the question is how to actually get it to do something. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the command line here, and then we can look at some of the uh, some of the commands. So if we go into, uh, in my case, this time on Windows, it's in Program Rust, uh, Program Files, rather, and then Rust Stable 1.5, and we'll look at what's in here. There's essentially a bin directory where the compiler and everything else resides. So the compiler is called Rust C, and that's basically the command you use to actually compile your programs for the most part. So uh, what the best way if you're in Windows is to simply add this directory, in this case, C Program Files Rust Stable, to the path at the uh, bin directory rather to the path because then you're going to be able to just call Rust from virtually anywhere. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly that. So I'll set my path to what it was before, plus I'll add this uh, program files uh, Rust uh, and then uh, bin to the path. So now I can call Rust C from just about anywhere. Uh, so if I go into temp and I make a new directory, let's call it Rust sample, uh, CD Rust sample, what I can do is I can make an actual Rust file and I can use this file to actually create and run our first program. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So uh, I'll use Notepad since I'm on Windows and the file is going to be called hello.rs. Okay, so um, here is, I've got Notepad. At the moment, I'm not using an ID or anything like that. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first of all, I just want to show you how the whole thing works. So every program, every Rust program begins in a function which is called main. We'll talk about functions quite a bit into the course actually, but for now just uh, you know, just accept the notation that fn stands for a function. And if the function is specifically called main, then that's the function which gets invoked when the program runs. And inside this function, we're going to do something. So in this case, I'm just going to print the obligatory hello uh, Rust uh, string. So this is just going to output a piece of text to the console that we have. So I'll exit from the uh, editor and now if I dir you'll see that I have a file called hello.rs so I can do rust c hello.rs and that compiles the file and if I do a dir then I have a hello.exe. You'll notice that in this day and age yes a hello world file takes up two megabytes which would be unthinkable a decade ago but now it's totally normal and if I run the application if I run hello then obviously I get my output. So this is the first ever application that we uh, write in Rust as part of this course. However uh, for most of this course I'm not actually going to uh, use a uh, not going to use notepad not going to type in these uh, rust c commands manually i mean we'll we'll type a few more commands related to the cargo package manager but we're not going to do much compilation from the command line so this is something that we're going to talk about next i.e how to get comfortable in uh, working with rust outside of an integrated development environment